I guess. Well, what was uh, just the, the playoff vibe? I know it was your first postseason run. What was it like from your perspective? It was special. It was uh, it's a type of uh, environment that you would expect an NCAA tournament being like, um, but at another level, at a higher level. Um, it definitely gives you know better teams chances to to advance and to uh, to play for a NBA championship. But um, it was special playing against. San Antonio, Golden State, because those teams are examples of champ championship level teams and teams that have won in, in, in NBA championships. What was the difference behind the scenes from what you're used to in the regular season, where you know game, 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 to you know, you're focused on one team and everyone's locked in? Um, what's the background? What, what's just what's the difference as far as preparation and yeah. um, the vibe of the team? I guess during those rounds. Um. You know, you definitely get a feel for how guys prepare a little bit, a uh, little bit more. Um, you know, to to really put your focus in on one team kind of allows guys to go about their scouting or their preparation in kind of their own way. So to to get a view of how guys go about that is uh, is a uh, teaching tool for uh, yourself. What was this season like? It was a special year for me because I learned a ton. Um, got to experience something that I never experienced um, before getting to the playoffs. Uh, personally, I think there's always that that feeling of wanting to do better, to perform better. Um, so I definitely have that. But um, to uh, to go through a full year with the team was amazing. I don't want to be anywhere uh, anywhere else. I don't want to play for another team. This team is uh, the best team that I've ever played for. So um, don't take any, I don't take anything back. And I really gained some experience and some knowledge going through this year. Are you healthy now? I mean, you had the back injury um, in, in the midst of the season. And before you had that back injury, you were performing really well. It seemed like it kind of threw you off for, for a couple of weeks after that. But how do you feel uh, physically? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. It's a weird thing going through a back injury and being out just a, a few days and then all of a sudden feeling good again. Mm -hmm. So. How frustrating was that for you? Because right before that, you seemed like you were really starting to find your lane, corner threes, uh, and then you hurt your back, and then you were kind of out again and tried to have to work back into that. Any any uh, injury stuff, it kind of uh, <clears throat> it you know it, it puts you out of what you do, of what you love to do. So, um, kind of how I viewed it was, it's just a test. It's a test to uh, see how resilient you are um, as a team too. I thought we kind of held up as as a group, um, but individually, I just had a couple times where I wasn't able to to play. So. Um, it's a tough thing to go through, but you got to figure out why you're going through it and to learn from it. Your career shooting numbers in Detroit, you know, near 40% three point shooter for the dip this season. Why, why do you think uh, not your shooting numbers specifically dip? Uh, well, I haven't made as many shots. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, uh, is there a reason more uh, consistent playing time in Detroit or anything like that? Or just They're all factors. Everything's a factor, but um, bottom line is you just got to shoot the ball better at the end of the day. As you went through the playoffs, you, I mean, you said you learned a ton. And um, was one of those things just sort of like a guy with your size, length, profile, ability to impact the game on both ends of the floor? Is that the type of player that, that is necessary in the playoffs? It seemed like Thunder has a lot of those guys. Golden State had a lot of those guys. Sam Turner had a lot of those guys. Yeah, but then you also throw other guys in the mix too, like Russell and Kevin Serge. You know, those guys are special. Yeah, S Steven Adams, Andre had a great series for us. Guys off our bench, dudes that can really con uh, contribute to our team, um, kind of all bring something unique and different to the, to, to the team. So for me, um, we have everything that we – Need to win the to win an NBA championship. We were right there, but the things that you learn and you pick up are 
why didn't you do it? Why didn't you um, get it done? And I think those lessons and those aspects of getting into playoff games are are what is uh, valuable at the end of the day. What's your off season going to consist of in terms of training? I mean, are you going to be primarily here? Are you going to go back to Oregon, or what's that going to be like? Yeah, I'll I'll be here. Um, I'll take a couple trips just to kind of get away, but my training and my summer is going to be in 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 Oklahoma. Are there any guys on the team specifically you work with? Staff wise, oh, like players. Uh, yeah, whenever I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of guys that stick around. Uh, they'll come and go, but um, yeah, I mean, guys will spend most of their time here as well, and we'll work out together. Um, maybe play one on one, two on two, depending on how many guys are here. Maybe leading up to summer league, there'll be some five on five, and I think I'll get into some of that as well. Anybody else? Thanks, Kyle. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys.